So anyone can create a website these days, but how do you create a website that actually generates leads? Well, in this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to do so in a few minutes using WordPress on GoDaddy. Let's get into it. So the first step is to create or buy your domain name. This is going to be the title of your website. Um, you can go to any registrar such as GoDaddy, Bluehost, HostGator, or you can use my website, MicrositeSolutions.com. Um, I'm actually a reseller, um, and so you can get it cheaper than all the rest of those websites. I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But go ahead and uh, see if your domain name is available. Uh, go ahead and buy your domain com and see if it's uh, available for purchase and it'll typically take it is taken so um, if it's not taken you can go ahead and purchase it but there, there's all their options as well dot info dot mobi dot club dot me you can also uh, use those extensions as well or you can get creative and put a number at the end of your domain name as well uh, to see if uh, that's available. So the next step after you purchased your domain, um, you want to go ahead and purchase hosting. What you want to do is click on hosting and click on WordPress. And the hosting is going to be basically housing your new website and it's going to be available online to everyone 24-7. Uh, uh, different packages to choose from, from basic, deluxe, ultimate, developer, and pro. Um, I suggest just going ahead and adding the basic for now um, and you can always add more space later on uh, at a later date. I'll ask you the length of the term, um, one month if it's going to be temporary or up 12 months. It's going to be all the same pricing. Um, I'll ask you security and speed. You can do that later on as well. Click on continue. And once you are ready to purchase this, uh, we'll go to the next step. Next step is to install WordPress. Uh, go ahead to the, your profile on the upper right hand of the screen. Go to My Products. And for My Products, go ahead and scroll down to Web Hosting. And I have two here. Uh, if you have more than one, it'll be all listed here under Web Hosting. I'm going to go ahead and click on the one uh, I just added and click on manage from there you'll get this screen and you want to go ahead and click on wordpress to install wordpress so from here you want to go ahead and click on install next to wordpress um, and then from the drop down you want to go ahead and select the domain that you just purchased or the domain that you want the wordpress uh, to be installed on go ahead and select that domain name and if it's not in this list, then um, what you want to do in GoDaddy is that you want to go ahead and go back to your hosting um, details page and at the scroll down to the bottom uh, below where you installed WordPress in the beginning. Uh, just go down and toggle down to hosted domains. Uh, once you click on hosted domains, it'll, you'll end up in, with this screen. You have to add the actual domain you just purchased. Um, so that's a quick tip right there. Go ahead and click on Add Domain in order for it to appear into your WordPress domain list. I'll go ahead and type in the uh, one I want to use. And it should, as you start typing in uh, the domains that uh, you just purchased. And then from there, you can go ahead and choose a folder you want to create. Uh, I'll just say uh, the name I just created. Okay, and click OK, and you'll see it's uh, it'll be pending on the bottom here. It says successfully added, uh, but you'll see it's going to be pending right here. And it takes usually a few seconds, maybe about a minute or so. Okay, so once you've selected your domain uh, from the list in WordPress, uh, go ahead and type in your directory. Um, you can add any type of uh, folder name. Uh, let's do test for this uh, or a sample for this um, example here and um, type in a admin name. 
password and then just confirm the password once again scroll down a little bit uh, it's going to ask you for your email and give it a, your your website a title and click OK So it'll give you a, a few minutes. It'll say uh, it's in, WordPress is installing. You'll see this loading screen on the right here under My Applications. Uh, give it a few uh, minutes and check back, and uh, we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so once you've selected your domain uh, from the list in WordPress, uh, go ahead and type in your directory. Um, you can add any type of uh, folder name. Uh, let's do test for this uh, or a sample for this um, example here and um, type in a admin name password and then just confirm the password once again scroll down a little bit uh, it's gonna ask you for your email and give it a your your website a title and click OK. So it'll give you a, a few minutes. It'll say uh, it's in, WordPress is installing. You'll see this loading screen on the right here under My Applications. Uh, give it a few uh, minutes and check back, and uh, we'll get on to the next step. So here you have your list of WordPress um, websites to choose from. And this is the first one I created. So you can also click on Actions, get some details, move in, and install it from here as well. I'm going to go ahead and log into the WordPress website. And then from here, once we log in, uh, we can install the actual website design and theme. Go ahead and click on Remember Me so you don't have to do this every time. And here is the WordPress dashboard. WordPress has been installed. Uh, what you want to do next is go to uh, adding a custom theme, uh, which is free. Uh, there's already uh, three to choose from. Uh, right now, that says Active this is the one that's going to be shown on the front end. Uh, to see it on the front end, uh, you can just go into the very top left here and click on Visit Site. I'm going to go ahead and open the website so you see this is the front, uh, what it looks like after you've completed a WordPress installation. So on the dashboard, under Appearance Themes, you can also change to a different one uh, template that they've included. And to do that, you can just simply just click on the actual template you want, click on Activate. And that way you can actually start viewing this instead of the one it uh, came pre-installed with. Um, to do that, uh, you just go back to the top left, visit site, to see what it looks like on the front end. There's other themes also that you can install customized. And to do that, go back to the dashboard and click on Add New at the very top left. And you can upload your own theme as well. As you can see, there's 15 to choose from here and do the same thing. Just click on install on any of these that you want. And as simple as that, you have a new WordPress website. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you'd like to see more, uh, click on the subscribe button. And be sure to like us. Uh, hope to see you on the next one.